Hello and welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is Tuesday, September 12th, 2017, and we are very excited to have with us in the studio today, Yowler. Take it away when you're ready. Yowler. Welcome, Marin and Kyle. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Um, your record has been on repeat for me for a good long while. It is beautiful. Thank you. And like ethereal and haunting and lovely. Thank you. More great adjectives. <laughs> um, so I was wondering how you two started playing this project together. And when um, you guys started playing together in general as well? It's been um, a project I've been working on for several years. Um, and it's had a rotating cast of collaborators. Um, but yeah, uh, Kyle and I started playing together like this past year-ish, within, yeah. Yeah, within the past year. Um, I was doing a lot of shows just by myself, mm -hmm. and it's kind of scary to to do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have like a little support on stage yeah. and yeah. Someone to like look to and be like, <laughs> yeah, we got this. Also, yeah. it's always nice to have like new ideas and new like sounds and he's really talented. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'd worked on another record together yeah, also yeah. and kind of became yeah familiar with our like musical vibes, vibes there <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah. Nice. it was natural yeah that's awesome yeah well i feel like at this point you guys have got like thousands of touring hours under your belt do you have tips and or tricks for people on how to make it better touring um, and like bearable yeah. <laughs> not that it's a bad thing but all no. the traveling and the t and the touring and the driving it's real it's like 
it can be really, really hard. Yeah. It can be, like, the best thing you've ever done in your life, and it can really be, like, the darkest <laughs> moment <laughs> of your of existence. Yeah, it can just be really boring. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're doing it for, like, three months in a row or something. Yeah. But I, my best tip, like, main one is um, don't be afraid to, like, put yourself, like, at the top of your own list and like don't be afraid to like go off and do your own thing mm-hmm. or in the van put headphones in and just like listen to music and like think or like yeah. you don't yeah. you know because I feel like sometimes it's like it's a group mentality we, we're all together we have to do what everyone else wants to do yeah but sometimes you just gotta be like nah I'm just hanging out yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. like yeah. Especially if you're like more inclined for like introversion. Mm-hmm. If you are, would you, how would you classify yourself in terms of introvert and or extrovert? Oh, that's a tricky one. I used to think I was an extrovert, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, it's, I go back and forth. Yeah. I don't so know. Like an I'm an Aquarius. Or whatever. So. Yeah. I'm an, yeah. You're, you're an Aquarius? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm a Pisces, so like. Oh, cool. <laughs> kind of near each other? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I don't really know anything about astrology. I just read my horoscope every morning and yeah. I'm like, today might be a six. <laughs> today might not be terrible. I don't know. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. <laughs> well, if you want to roll into the next two. Cool. I'm very excited yeah. to hear them. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. Cool.
You guys have really great accessories between the uh, the sequiny guitar strap and the drama queen pin. It's all great. <laughs> Thank all you. All good stuff. Thank you. We wanted to bring more accessories, but we toned it down a little. Yeah, bit. you know what they say. You know, like before you leave the house, yeah. always take one off. I'm usually the opposite. I'm Same. like not enough <laughs> stuff going on. Suddenly, I'm wearing like 15 necklaces. Yeah. I'm an Aquarius after all, so you know. <laughs> you know what they say about Aquarius is. <laughs> Always wear too many necklaces. <laughs> we seriously left so many hats behind. Really? <laughs> like normal hats or like like fun? We have like hats? a straw hat that we like to wear. We have kooky wear. hats. We have normal uh-huh. hats. Yeah, we we got some it baseball all. Kit. Yeah. Whatever. Do you guys wear them on? Would you? We're like we're gonna be a hat band. Oof, like the, the band that wears yeah. like cool really hats. Really defines you. <laughs> yeah. You have to really. You have to commit. Yeah. yeah. It's like some like seventies revival. Or something. It's like moldy peaches like. Really went on stage with those costumes on. Yeah. They really went for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think that's awesome. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> but okay. I have an actual question here. Okay, cool. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's on me. I just really like accessories. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so the songs, they are very vulnerable. Do you ever feel like when you're on stage, you're just like pouring your heart out to an audience? Yeah. Um, there is a song that, um, I don't really play live very much yeah. anymore because it's just about some really dark stuff, yeah. you know? And I'm just like, sometimes if the audience isn't right, I'm just like, why am I playing this for you? Yeah. People? It's like, like, here, see the deepest depths <laughs> of my soul. Yeah. Like, no offense to them because, like, you know, I'm making them listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just like, mm, yeah. yeah, this is weird. Like, I'm really... Telling you about some serious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feels strange. But. Yeah. Like, do you feel like you can, like, when you play the songs, it's you're still like hooked in and like you're feeling the same feelings, or do you 
can you like sort of maybe disassociate a little bit? It depends on the night. Like, yeah. Like especially if you're on tour and you're going crazy and yeah. you're having an especially rough night, you're like, ooh, like yeah, I feel this, but it's like kind of nice. Um, that's why I like to write songs that have to do with my feelings. Because yeah. Then you can really like kind of immerse yourself back in that moment. And it's really therapeutic yeah. for me personally. It's like a. Yeah, it's cathartic. Yeah, it is super cathartic. Yeah, you can like, sort of like regroup and like yeah. come back to yourself in a way. Mm -hmm. When you get off stage, do you ever feel like, well, these people are actually strangers, but they do know all these secrets about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier to talk to people after you play, yeah. for sure, because you opened that door mm -hmm. with them, for sure. Also, I feel like they probably usually are like, why are you so like... <clears throat> awkward and peppy you seem like you would be really like they're like actually trying to like write you a prescription <laughs> yeah exactly. like I'm, no i'm actually yeah. okay yeah well <laughs> yeah no i'm just kidding sorry um yeah but i don't know yeah um so you are in two other bands all mm -hmm. dogs and saint seneca mm -hmm. do you feel like you it's nice to have like other projects that you can sort of just like put one on the shelf for a while and be like I'm going to focus on some other stuff for a while. Yeah, it is nice. Um, everything's kind of just been, like, really chill lately. Mm -hmm. um, I moved from Ohio to Phil Philadelphia, oh. like, a year ago. So I kind of, like, haven't been doing as much, like, saying Seneca stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, it's, like, really good to sometimes... Because I've been trying to write songs for this band for yeah. a really long time. Yeah. So I finally got my break. Um, which is a lot of pressure, kind of. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, it's nice to kind of like just balance it out. Yeah. And it tends to do that naturally, which is cool. That is cool. Yeah. And do you feel like the different projects sort of like represent different parts of yourself in a way, maybe? I, yeah. No, I, I, I do feel that way. Yeah. I mean, St. Seneca is just like my friend who's really talented and I get to like support him. Mm -hmm. And then like um, All Dogs is like kind of, you know, more, like, loud and, yeah. like, angsty and emotive, but in a more, like, direct way, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Kind of, like, get out the real, like, yeah. angst. No, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Like, get your yeah -yas Punch out. some people in the face. <laughs> yeah. Get your yeah -yas That out. always sounds wrong to me, but it I does. know what you're saying. It does it? At first I was I like, no, don't do that. With <laughs> Especially live. Yeah. We're going to get flagged. <laughs> Um, That's on y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to write an open letter to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited to hear the next two. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, two, three, four. <laughs> Saving this one 
Audio Tree Live with Yowler. That was beautiful. Thanks. All of the songs have been so beautiful. Um, so before we go into the last track, I just wanted to ask a little bit about like what's gonna what's coming up for you guys. Um, so yeah. <laughs> we've been working on a new record for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's taken a while because I did so much touring last year. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. But finally able to work on it, and um, we're just we're yeah. really babying it, you yeah. know, yeah. letting it happen. Um, but 
uh, yeah, we're recording in Philly with Kyle. He records bands. He's mm-hmm. really good. Um, Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, um, but yeah, doing it ourselves. So yeah. we can kind of just like take our yeah. sweet yeah. time. Um, I think that's great. And then eventually, you know, we want to like tour and stuff, but we're really just focusing on recording right now. So. Yeah. So I know that some bands, when they record, they don't really listen to other music. Mm-hmm. Or is that? I was is just that, thinking about that. Today. Yeah, <laughs> that, that seems w- like it's impossible in 2017, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like you have to walk around with like your hands over your ears all the time. Yeah, I yeah. never heard of that. Actually, yeah. surprising. I think I, there was some <laughs> interview I was watching, and so it was just some artist who was like, "Oh, it was this uh, singer songwriter named Mar- Marika Hackman." Um, she was talking about how she was making a record, and she doesn't listen to music when she's recording huh. and i was like interesting huh yeah keep the vision i like, feel like yeah pure. i always have to be listening to yeah. music yeah. Really like i don't know what i was listening to like yeah. podcasts all the time no. i mean that's a cool I, especially the record cool. making no, process you know yeah. it's so sound oriented i feel yeah. like i'm just always drawing from and like being inspired by other stuff so yeah i wouldn't if i stopped listening to music i'd be like well, yeah yeah. I was just saying that I want to, like, watch some rock docs yeah. to, like, yeah. get some extra inspiration. Well, uh, we have some. Uh, we have one uh, with Oasis. It's in nice. the lobby. So if oh. you guys want to stay a little bit longer, <laughs> yeah. you can watch that. We don't need to get to this. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Lincoln Hall can wait, frankly. Yeah. Um, who, who have you guys been listening to lately? Um, today we listened to Emmett Rhodes for, like, two Rhodes. hours because it was one album and 47 songs oh. in a row. Yeah. We just did it. Know, some standards. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. um, Kate Bush. I don't Kate know. Bush. The usual. I was about Kate Bush yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is all just coming together, man. <laughs> <Four> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. Oh, uh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's so many. I just, yeah. like, yeah, always just blank constant. when oh, people yeah, ask same. me Like, uh, uh. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Obviously, well, <laughs> well, you guys will be plug. You guys will be at Lincoln Hall tonight with mm-hmm. Tao. Yeah. Um, and you can get their album, The Offer. It is out now on Double Double Whammy Records. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, if you guys want to hear the here, if you guys want to hear the last one, <laughs> well, just want to play the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks awesome. for having Thanks us. Thanks so much for having it's us. Been great. Here, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs>
Osmond Yowler on Audio Tree Live. You can get their record, The Offer. It is out now on Double Double Whammy Records. And if you're in Chicago, you can see them at Lincoln Hall tonight. And if you want to support us and the band, you can download this session when it com comes out in a few weeks. I'd like to thank the audio engineering team for making yeah, it sound thanks, nice. Hell yeah. I'd like <laughs> to thank the camera and lighting crew for making it look nice. Hell yeah. And then thank I'd you. like to thank the audience for being nice. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.